forgive me for what I must do. As you can see, your people are now mine. Should we okay. do it? Yeah, let's do it. All, All right, 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 right. All right, there he is. <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? Right. <laughs> We're back. We're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, thank thank you guys so much first of all for for reaching out and and just and, and being that vocal about my involvement and in coming back in this because that, that really meant a lot to me personally as well as the team and and it just felt like this is this is getting the band back together now this is this is how yeah. this is how it should be because we all were there for the original from the inception of it and it was such an exciting time we had such a great time developing that and, and myself creating the the soundtrack. So uh, this is this is a really cool moment, and uh, it's great that the community gets to be involved in this process as well. Time changes everything, and everything empires will rise. Kingdoms will fall. The grounds of battle become stained with fire and blood. But our thirst for adventure exploration. Discovery and conquest will stand the test of time. Together, we have battled through history. upon us.
Maneuvering is critical, and unique faction-based abilities allow you to move and position your ships. Powerful Imperial engines, the enigmatic bone sculptures of the Azayani, terrifying organic constructions of the Tyranids, each faction has its own playstyle. Your selection of factions, ships, admiral skills, fleet upgrades, and strategy will all influence how you approach and fight the enemy. There will be no escape. The light and fast vessels of Drakari pirate fleets dart in and out of combat, unleashing volleys of energy and escaping before retaliation can be dealt. Corrupted battle cruisers, bastions to chaos worship, pound enemy hulls with massive lances at great distance, while ramshackle orc vessels and horrifying turreted bioweapons prefer to close in for the kill through sheer brute force. The armoured prows of your vessels are as deadly as your weapons, and ramming is an effective way to finish off a wounded foe or utterly annihilate a smaller ship. Tractor beams, micro-warp drives, and other faction-specific abilities are vital for getting the enemy in range for a devastating impact. Get him! Let the galaxy burn! For the Emperor! Townsfolk can't go in since Wild Marge took over. Not the front door, then. All right? Keep it low. Let's find another way in. Hey, service. More whiskey. Well, now. Let's see. Oldest trick in the book. You hear that? Who needs a good killing? Let's make it quick. No need to get ready. Let's do this. <gasps> Making a move. Think I think I heard a few bones creak. You wish, amigo. I'm as fit as if I was 20. Hmm? I'm back in the business. Sure thing. What's the plan? Vamanos. Eyes open. Yeah, I'm ready. Sure thing, amigo. Let's go. Ready when you are. 
Don't tell anyone, okay? Start off. Well, at least you're sure to hit something with that thing. Amigo, we can't all be ace gunslingers. There a brain inside that cavernous head? These heavy hitting axe units are a formidable foe for anyone they go up against. They will make very short work of these spears. Let's check up on the center attack. The settlement is now on fire from the barrage of arrows, and our men are getting over the walls and getting stuck into the enemy. Yes! Sack them! Cousin, we come to aid you. We ride with fury at our back. Our reinforcements have arrived. This huge mass of cavalry will be the perfect thing to break Ubu's men. We'll charge them into this spear infantry. They're going to knock these guys flying and destroy their mind. Our reinforcements are led by Jehau Dun. He was shot in the eye by an arrow in battle against Lubu. He pulled it out, his eye still attached to the arrow, and proceeded to eat it. And we're going to get him out of the fight and head over to Lubu, who we're going to challenge to a duel. Duels are a new feature for Three Kingdoms, where the two heroes will duke it out in single combat until one either dies or retreats. Duels can help you single out an enemy combatant and take them out and turn the tide of battle. of the flesh. But the horde is at the walls.
When it comes to combat, the Dvar favor explosive weapons, a tech group that is exclusive to them. Their technological know-how has helped them develop smart weapons that avoid friendly fire, which is useful considering explosive weapons tend to have a large area of effect. The survival suit that gave the faction its name, the DVR, can be equipped with several unit mods, such as super-powered pistons that increase melee attack power, and the reactive kinetic battery, which absorbs energy from incoming attacks and blasts it back out against enemies. Amongst the Dvar's combat units, you'll find the rocket artillery, which sends a devastating volley of rockets in a large area of effect. Several heavily armored vehicles that will plow right into enemy units in order to damage them. The Sapper, which can tunnel towards an enemy and trigger a seismic charge which staggers nearby units, while at the same time destroying any obstacles they were using as cover. The Trencher, a unit that can build its own cover on the battlefield. And the Earth Crusher, a massive industrial complex on wheels. It can pull enemy units towards it with a tractor beam and then process them using ore crushing machinery. Now that space travel is once again available for the Dvar, they are ready to start operations on other profitable worlds. Heaven help anyone else caught in the path of their march of progress. It's our take on the classic turn-based strategy genre with a character-driven story, faster, more aggressive gameplay, a customizable squad and equipment, and of course, it wouldn't be a Gears game without a massive boss battle. Venturing among the stars. Discovering long extinguished civilizations. Learning of what's left of their legacy. And the lessons that lie within. With this knowledge, they grew. Expanding over decades, bolstering the technology. Unafraid of what may lie beyond the veil of our reality. As several lifetimes go by, past rivalries within their empire outgrew their desire for peace. Civil war broke out, causing untold damage to their home and their people. So they retreated into isolation. That was thousands of years ago. Now, this once fallen empire will rise to step into the fold and the entire galaxy must be ready to face them. Are you?
three units begin the game in the ocean and receive science and culture each turn before settling. When you settle your first city, you receive a free builder and extra population. The palace also receives additional housing and amenities. The Maori's unique building is the marae. This replaces the amphitheater in the theater square. It provides culture and faith to all tiles in the city with a passable feature, such as floodplains, and tourism after researching flight. The Maori's unique unit is the toa. This classical era melee unit can construct a pa improvement on hills, which provides a defensive bonus and heals units if they end their turn on its tile. Toa also have the Haka War Dance ability, which weakens adjacent enemy units. The Maori's unique ability is Mana. They start with sailing and shipbuilding, and embarked units receive additional strength and movement. Woods and rainforests provide additional production, and fishing boats additional food. Fishing boats also acquire surrounding available tiles when completed. As the Maori, the world is your oyster and you will thrive with its blessings. Use your first turns to scout for a prime coastal location for your capital city, with plenty of woods, rainforests, and ocean resources. A series of paw fortresses will be your key to a strong defense, allowing you to embark on the victory campaign of your choosing without fear of conquest from another civilization. Will your empire flourish with the bounty of land and sea? How will you lead the Maori in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm?